The energy transition is largely expected to require huge amounts of new infrastructure, new workforce, new everything. The thing is, we don't have a lot of time to get this done. My name is Mike Jung. I lead government affairs and public policy at Modern Hydrogen. We're a startup company that does methane pyrolysis as a distributed energy technology. Methane pyrolysis involves taking methane, CH4, a hydrocarbon, and splitting it into its constituent molecules, hydrogen and carbon. Other ways of making hydrogen generally involve using electricity, which needs to be green to make clean hydrogen. And that electricity is by and large kind of scarce, which means it's relatively expensive and pretty hard to deliver. It takes eight times more energy in the form of green electricity for electrolysis, separating hydrogen from water, than it takes for pyrolysis, which is used to separate hydrogen from carbon. One of the challenges in the energy transition is that a lot of folks think that they need to go all or none to switch everything over to something clean overnight. What methane pyrolysis offers is a way to scale your way into the energy transition. It's a journey. Methane pyrolysis lets you start distributed and begin by maybe blending some of your energy processes, whether it's a furnace or a boiler, by using blended hydrogen with methane. As you gain confidence and experience and expertise and you know just years and time, you can end up switching more and more of that process over. You can start switching entire units over and assets over with a simple retrofit of a burner chip rather than the replacement of the entire asset. That lets methane pyrolysis become a way to scale into the energy transition rather than having to do a giant leap of faith all at once. A lot of times when you hear about carbon capture utilization and sequestration, CCUS, most of the time people are talking about getting rid of the carbon at best using the carbon to extract more carbon. What we're doing in Modern Hydrogen is figuring out how to take the carbon co-product that we produce alongside hydrogen and using that to both improve the performance and reduce the cost of asphalt, one of our most ubiquitous construction materials. We can decarbonize asphalt at the same time we're decarbonizing natural gas. You know, I'm here at the Energy Live conference. Uh, it's been an amazing sort of set of conversations around hydrogen. There's a lot of excitement, but there's also a lot of questions around what does this next four years hold for an energy future that's just starting to get off the ground. I'm happy to say that I'm still hearing a lot of optimism. People understand that hydrogen, clean hydrogen, is going to be a necessary part of the solution. We can take existing American resources, create more value the American way, and do so in a way that is compatible with the planet that we're going to have to live with for the next generation and more.